Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this table format report here with the name of a three-letter word of the month using the data sets uh, like this with a date format of day, month, and year. And we're going to rename multiple columns inside the Power Query with the help of list.sif formula. And we're going to do all of this uh, in a new workbook. So this is my workbook. I'm going to select any of my data, go to Data tab, and then from table range, okay. Now, first thing is to select the icon type here. Click that and then choose date. So that's it. Uh, we transform it into date format alone. And while choosing this column, I'm going to add column. And then under the date, I'm going to choose month and then name of month. So we added a uh, month name here in our data. And I'm going to go back to the date column again, and then transform. Under the transform, I'm going to choose date again, month, and then I'm going to choose just the month to reflect the number here, which will be my index later on. And I'm going to choose the date column and also the month name uh, simultaneously. And then go to transform tab again, and then group by. And then... Uh, under operation all rows okay and then here I'm gonna sort this go to date column and then sort ascending and there you have it month name and then count on the count I'm gonna choose uh, aggregate button and then sum of quantity and then uncheck the uh, prefix okay and that's it now uh, I'm gonna remove the date column right click and remove and that's it now and at this point i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to go to the query pane duplicate the table choose duplicate okay i'm going to choose the month name column right click that and then drill down so that's it that's a list of our long names here so i'm going to rename it as long names that's uh that's it now i'm gonna duplicate again this uh, list and then here I'm gonna create the shorter version of that month the three-letter word so in the month name I'm gonna right click that insert step after and then here I'm gonna use list that transform and then put parentheses that's our last step month name comma so I'm gonna say that each item so each I'm gonna use text that start that's equivalent to the left function in Excel. So text that start, comma, uh, open parenthesis. We're going to say that each row, underscore is a row here, comma. We wanted to get the three letter, first three letter from each word. So that's it. Close the text that start, close the list that transform, enter. That's it. We have the short names here. Rename that. Short names. Okay. Now I'm going to right click the query pane here. And then, um, new query, other sources, blank query. And then here, I'm going to call my pool list. So, equal sign in the formula bar. And then, curly bracket, that means I'm creating a list. So, what are those lists? Those are the long names, comma, and the short names. And then, curly bracket again, enter. That's the list here, the long names. And then the short names or the new names later on. And then I'm going to wrap this uh, formula into the list that zip. And then close it, enter. And that's going to be our list, a two-row list here. First row is the old names or the long names. Second row is the short names or the new names. That's it. I'm going to rename it as combined list. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the table one. And then here, I'm going to go to Transform tab, then Transpose. That's it. Now, I'm going to promote this. Use first row as headers under the Transform tab. So, select that. Use first row as headers. And that's it. Now, I'm going to rename that. In the Change Type 1, in the Applied Steps, right-click, Insert Step After. Choose that. Okay. Now, here, I'm going to use table that rename columns 
And then, this is our last step again. Change type 1, comma. In here, you're going to declare the list of this. So, double curly bracket, and then uh, state the original name of the column, and then comma, the new name, such as like this. Uh, double curly bracket, and then January, the, name, the present name of the column, comma. What is the new name? It's Jan. So, that's it. In double uh, curly bracket, that's it. But you're gonna uh, rename that every month like this so we're not going to do that but because we use the list that's it we're just going to state combined list so call the combined list here and then close it and then enter that's it that's the uh, how you rename columns uh, in the power query now i'm gonna add column for that complete this table add column custom column and then this, let's say this is the sales, and then let's say we have the total quantity sold. Just have a text like that, and then enter, and then I'm going to right-click that, and then choose move to beginning, and there you have it. And I'm going to go to the home tab, and then close and load to, and then first create a connection for that so that the other list will not be loaded in our workbook. Okay. Then choose the table one here, right click that, and then load to in a table in the existing worksheet. Let's put it in e, uh, cell E1. Okay, that's it. Uh, uh, let's quickly check the total for it. Total for the report is 13,530. Total for the data set is 13,530. So you can check it on your own per month, but I already checked that. That's equal. So that's it. I finish here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and see you next time and thanks.